Yo, yo, rough stuff. It's that time again in our blood. Yeah, full for June at SOS. What we going back to Kent on this one? What the birthday party? Yeah. All right, cool. Yo, massive. Get ready. It's that time again. You know what it's all about. You know what it's all about, innit? Yo, swagger, 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 fantastic. Birthday business, live in town, bitch. Yeah. Swagger, 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 fantastic. Rough stuff, fun star. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this happens to be the shocking, bigging up the heavy artillery massive in the hizzle. Hey, diddle. Yeah. Yeah, let's get in the name soon, man. Yeah, man. Cool. Sorted. <laughs> you are now in tune to the sound of DJ Fully Equipped. And DJ Hitman. Right, mic check one, two. You're listening to the Heavy Artillery Show every Thursdays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. with myself, DJ Fully Equipped, alongside DJ Hitman, who is currently behind the decks right about now. And as you know, it's the Heavy Artillery Show, so what we do is we bring a guest down every week and we like to put them for a 30-minute in, in, interview, sorry, 30-minute interview, whether they're known, whether they're forthcoming, whether they're um, underdogs, you know what I mean, so we can help them promote their stuff and get what they're doing out there. And today's special guest is David Boomer. Yes, Dan. <laughs> you cool, man? Yeah, man, I'm here. It took two years, but I'm here now, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. So um, if it's cool with you, we're going to conduct a 30-minute interview. Yeah. And then um, afterwards, if you could show us like what you do and all, all, and all that, man. Yeah, man, that's all good. All yeah, right, man. wicked, man. That's jamming. That's cool. So uh, remember, you're locked into the Heavy Artillery Show. A few shout-outs. Um, got to big up the Fat J for making all this happen. Hold tight all the Fat Beats management. Hold tight all the Fat Beats family, DJs and MCs. Um, hold tight Cam, who sponsor Fat Beats. Um, a few, you yeah, know what I mean? So um, any questions you do have for David, if you just send them through, because um, obviously he's got a lot of singles coming out soon, and uh, we're asking him about that throughout the interview. So um, any questions you've got for him, make sure you get them down and send them through and we will uh, definitely 100% get them over to him and get your questions answered, okay? So um, we're just gonna crack on into the interview now. All right, so um, how's things, David? How are you, man? I'm excited right now. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. All that cool, you know? Yeah, I've just, you know, I've been really busy for the past couple of years, trying to build a name, trying to get people to recognize who I am and what I'm trying to contribute to the drum and bass scene, do you know what I mean? And actually music, the music scene in general. Well, saying that, so um, what, what actually is it that you do, David? Well, I suppose you could say I am a singer, songwriter, 
drum and bass artist, but really, I'm a versatile artist. Oh, that's cool, man. So, um, <laughs> so what you're saying, you're a singer. Yeah. Right, and you, 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 you use your singing and vocal talent over drum and bass mainly, yeah? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, I, I'm one of the few. I don't know that many singers that do the drum and bass thing and you know jump on a live DJ set with roaring MCs and uh, someone that's singing, but I do that on a regular basis. Um, and I've been doing that since 1994, so it's, it's been a little while now. That's really cool, man. <laughs> it's like, well, it's good, you know what I mean? Actually, yeah. it's, it's originality, you know what I mean? To be able to bring that to the table for drum and bass, you know what I mean? Because it ain't just about DJs and MCs, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? For an actual vocal artist, a singer, to be able to come in over a live DJ set and, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah, I, I know a few of your tracks yeah. and uh, a lot of people do, but like you said, um, how do you feel about this? Because like, what I was talking about to you earlier is when, when we tell people like David Bummer, yeah. you, you have to tell them their ins and outs. Yeah. So is yeah. this the whole kind of what you're trying to do when you said about getting the name out there and yeah. stuff like that? That is exactly what I'm trying to do because I think that singers get a bit of a raw deal. And when I say singers, I'm talking about vocalists in general, artists, you know, that are in the drum and bass scene. You know, the producer gets huge props and the producer should get props. Yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, the vocalist yeah, cool. needs to get props as well. So if, if I were to say to you, do you know a tune called Who Run Things? I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd big up Shy FX. And if I said, do you know a tune called On The Run? I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd big up Shy FX. And if I said, <laughs> yeah. do you know a tune called Murder Rage? And they'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd big up Shy FX. But I'm on all of those tracks. Yeah, yeah, you're, you know you're what the mean? vocalist. I'm the vocalist on all of those tracks. So all I'm saying is, is respect to Shy FX, but give me a little respect as well. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we love that, man. Why not? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, yeah. um, it's all right producing it. I know where you're coming from are like that because yeah. you've got, you got to give it to the producers. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. they do us a favour. That's why we play the music. That's right. You know what I mean? But at that's the right. end of the day, you're, you're contributing and you're making that track where it is. You that's, know what I mean? That's right. That's right. So, so why not get that publicity, yeah, man? man. That's, you know, that's, that's all it's about. And I've been trying to, trying to do that, I would say, for the past, oh, God, a good nearly 20 years now. Do you know what I mean? 15 years. But, um... It's, it's something that I've, been, I've had to jump in and out of, because you know what I mean? Because the music thing hasn't been able to sustain my life. I've had to go and work and, yeah, and yeah, do other course, things. But man. I've never gone too far away from the music, and I've always dipped, back my, dipped my toes back in. And right now, in the past two years, I think I've fully immersed myself in music. I've done so much music in the last year that, you know what I mean? If, it doesn't, if things don't kick off now, then I might as well just sing in the shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, it's, it's, it's nah, don't do that, man. You got a wicked voice, <laughs> man. So, <we> had, <laughs> I was going to say, come around my shower then. You know what I mean? You can sing all you want in there. <laughs> oh, I happily listen to you. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. That'd be, a, that'd, be a, that'd, be, that'd be a ruin to your talents, man. You know what yeah. I mean? So at the end of the day, like, that's, that's really cool. You know what I mean? Get out. Yeah. Get your stuff out there, man. This is like... This is, this is what it's about, bringing different kind of avenues and aspects of the drum and bass scene. Yeah. So yeah. for you to be able to do that, that's why it's wicked, it's original. And like you said, there's only a couple of you, chosen few of you, yeah. you know what I mean? You've got yeah. yourself, you've got yeah. Peter Bantz, and then you've got yeah. the old school, like Demolition, man. Yeah, you've exactly. Got all, you know yeah, I mean? Big up Jenna G, big up Fats, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, singing Big up Yush, you know, you've got, a couple, you've got a couple of us out there. There's a couple, there's not a lot, do you know what I mean? And I just, well, I just, wanna, I just want them man there to get their props, just like how I want to get my props, do you know what I mean? As well as, a, as an artist that's bringing something to the table. Yeah, and man, that's really cool, like, that's really, really, really cool, man. But, you know, one thing that I always say when I have interviews is that I will always love jungle and drum and bass because I think it's, it is a British well, tell me, well, art form. Do you well, know what I mean? It, I say that all the time, you know what I mean? Drum and bass is the whole, like, jungle, yeah. you know what I mean? It's all come from the roots of England, you know yes. what I mean? It's, it's, it's yeah. born and bred here, you know what yeah. I mean? And that's, yeah. that's quite, like, that's, that gives you pride, man, to know that, yeah. like, that's your home state of music yeah. and that now people in different countries are trying to jump onto that. Yeah. Really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. So, like what you were saying, why, why drum and bass and jungle? Uh, you know, uh, basically, I mean, if you look at it in the past, in history, all us youths growing up um, have looked to a particular genre of music. At one stage, it was all about reggae music from Jamaica. At yeah. another stage, it was all about hip hop from America. Do you know what I mean? And when jungle and drum and bass formed, we could actually say, hold on, we've got something that is ours that we created. And I know that we take a little bit from um, from reggae and we take a little bit from from hip hop but what we've done is what the end product is something that we can say is a British product that yeah, we mate. made and we own do you know what I mean so for that reason I will always love drum and bass and jungle I will always love it because it was made it was created right here do you know what I mean and I'm a British you I grew up in Jamaica but you know what I mean I've spent a lot of my time here in England um, 
So, you know, I was born in England, so I've got to represent British music. Yeah, man. Don't know that. Yeah, I mean, so. That's really cool, man. You know what I mean? So, um, you seem quite passionate. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah? From Do you think that, that, that helps you a lot in your music? Yeah, I mean, you know, if anyone that knows any of my tunes, and um, I'm working on a lot of material at the moment, um, and, and when people hear what I'm working on, they will realise that there's a lot of passion behind the lyrics and what I'm saying, and there's usually always a message in the music. Do you know what I mean? I'm always trying to tell, tell them something positive. Yeah, man. Because um, I think the youths, obviously, youths listen to music. Well, like, and, um, talking about positive, you know what I mean, right? Because um, one of the tracks you done was on the run. Yeah. Right, they were talking about what was that digital soundboy EP, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, came out on yeah Shy's album, Diary of a Digital Soundboy, big album. I, I think that album should have done much better than it did. I think it's a fan, brilliant album. Yeah, man, it's really cool. Like big album. But what I'm saying is, like you just said about giving a positive message. Yeah. On the run, yeah. you know what I mean. We used to. I remember as a as a quite young, you know what I mean, listening to that record yeah. with a friend of mine, yeah. and uh, thinking. You know what I mean? And yeah. thinking, yeah, yeah, we need, we need to stop doing this, but then let's not. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> At least it made you think. Yeah, man, of course it did. But it was like, we used to listen to it, we used to thought, yeah, this is yeah. like, this is quite big, man. And that's, it is a, is a yeah. positive message is what you're giving out, and that's what it's yeah. about, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as, as a singer, you can do that stuff. Try, man. Try, you know what I mean? I think we're all here for a purpose. We all got to try and do something positive and contribute something to society. So that's all I'm trying to do. I do it in my, day, in my, in my daytime work. Because I'm a youth worker, um, so I do it in my daytime work and I do it in my music work as well. Yeah, man, that's really that's, oh. really, that's really good, man. So, um, all right, let's go let's go back and let's find out a bit about David Boomer. Okay. Right before we get into like what's coming and forthcoming from you and stuff like that. Mm. Right. Um, so, where did you get the name David Boomer from? Oh man, that's a <laughs> long ass story. Um, <laughs> I grew up in Jamaica, like I was saying, um, and when I was um, when I started singing, I'm talking about from primary school age, when I started singing. What, what, what you were singing in Jamaica? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I went to primary school in Jamaica. I bet that was a lot of like, musical flipping yeah, influence out there, man. Yeah, lots of big musical influences out there growing up in Jamaica. And um, as a little singer in school, um, my, big, my, uncles, um, my uncle's friends started, they were MCs, they were like ragged DJs, and they were bad, they were butting up the place. What, out on the sound systems it, On out sound there, systems, yeah? exactly. And they, and they said, you should, bring, you should bring David, man. <laughs> and and um, they used to call me, in my family, they used to call me Duma. Duma, not Buma. So what, what, what does that mean, Duma? Duma, it was just a name that, that, that just came from nowhere that they called me. And then the, 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 the MC said, no, nah, you have to stop calling him Duma. You have to call this brother Buma, because he blows up the place when he holds a mic. He's <laughs> David Buma, he's the boom. And from that, it stuck. So that was from like 12 years old, I was, I've been called Buma. And I just kept that name. So anybody out there with a the name Buma, I know I'm one of the, I'm, the, I'm probably the original Buma. Yeah. Because I'm talking about from 1981, I've been named David Boomer. So, you know. Do you know what? I actually asked that question as a joke, you know. It's a serious <laughs> Because thing. someone told me, my, my girlfriend earlier, I said to him, ask him what his name is, thinking about, like, thinking that yeah. was your actual name. Yeah. <laughs> and nah. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to ask him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I, nah, I just learned something there. That's yeah. So that ain't your actual name, that's man. That's my stage name. That's your stage name. That's yeah. really cool, man. Yeah. So my, na my name's David Williams. Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't have the same ring. Very British name. Yeah. <laughs> it could have worked, though. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, David Bummer. Okay, that's cool, man. So, um, so you, like you said, a lot of your musical influence is uh, when you was um, a child, growing yeah. up in Jamaica and stuff like that. So that's where you got the name David Bummer from. Yeah. So um, what progressed from there? So like, how, how did you end up coming onto the jungle scene? Was it when you come to England? or uh, like what? Say this. What, what's jungle like in Jamaica? When I was in Jamaica, there was no jungle. There, no, no jungle I at mean, all. I mean, remember, jungle is, is well, I was going to say it's relatively new, but it's not relatively new. Because it's, it's when you hear the old school jungle, there's a lot yeah. of ragga vibe on that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I mean, jungle, I, I only learned about jungle in 1993, 94. Okay. Um, and I learned about jungle through a very good friend of mine at the time, UK Apache. UK Apache, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Me and UK Apache shared a flat good five and a half years we we I mean we I went on tour with UK Apache in fact my brethren sitting beside me we all went on he went on tour as well we both supported UK Apache who, who, who is your friend that this is my brethren Juxi Demas this is a sick ragga DJ one of the sickest ragga DJs in the country without doubt um, and people are gonna know they're gonna find out um, and way back in 94 when original Nutter came out UK yeah. Apache and Shy FX 
we supported UK Apache and Shy Effects on their... Oh, on their okay. Is that how you kind of got the, the link to work with Shy Effects? Was exactly. It, Apache, it, was, it yeah? was through UK Apache, yeah. So at the time, what happened was um, Apache did original Nutter in 1994. That was when it was recorded. And in 1995, I went in the studio with Shy and did a track called Who Run Things. Who Run Things, Who yeah? Run Things. Was that your first ever? That was my first jungle track. Your first, uh, um, and we will hear that later on, yeah? No, you won't, because I haven't brought it. <laughs> oh. um, but, ev- you know, it's come out on so It was out on a compilation just a couple of months ago. It's out all the time. Yeah? So it's, n- it's, it's not gone anywhere. It went, st- it went to number one, and it, it, everybody... If you, if, see, you're a bit young, you see. Yeah, I'm 22, there man. There you go. So that track came out in 1995, so you were, you know... You probably, if you hear it, you'll know it. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. But well, like, like, like when you were saying to me um, about stuff you were on, and um, you're singing, it's like, oh, do I really know that? But then... When you when you think about it, you think, oh my days, what is that you, David Boomer? Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So like that's what we're, I was trying to say to you earlier. When people see the name David Boomer, yeah, it's like what you're saying about producer and all that, getting more of the props. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying because like people hear that tune, they think so I affect. Exactly. Exactly. But do you know? What I mean? Yeah. You see where you're coming from. But this from is it, man. Mate. You know what I mean? And like I said, it's not a disrespect to any other producers. It's just a thing about the tune is made by two people. Do you know what I mean? And and uh, it's all about recognition. And you know what I mean? And that's and that's all I'm saying. So it's about just promoting that, promoting the artist. You know, there's two artists involved in the in the whole thing. So both of them. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know what I mean? So. All right, cool, man. So um, right. So you jumped on um Jungle in '94. Yeah. Okay. So let tell me more about that. How did you? Oh, how did so you we in? did. So we did. Who run things? It went straight to number two, and then the next week it was number one. Um, and at that time, this is way back, this was when Commander B was playing Jungle. Yeah? Do you, me- do you even remember Commander B yeah, on yeah, Choice no, FM? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. when Commander B was playing Jungle on, because I don't even know where Commander B is now. But anyway, <laughs> on that chart, it went, it, went, it went straight in, you know, it went to number one. After the, st- the first week, it went to number two, and then bam, next week, number one. Stayed there for a good stretch of time. And um, at the time, two of the big, one of the biggest DJs was Brocky. And Det was his MC. Um, yeah, yeah, and everybody yeah. knows about Brocky and Debt. Everyone knows that they're like, you know, their man are just, they yeah, running it like red for a long time. And Shy asked me to do a dub plate special for Brocky and Debt of Who Run Things. And I did that dub plate special and they played that for no less than like five months as their opening tune every dance. Um, and obviously that just, you know, just created, just kept the tune bubbling and, and kept the vibe going. And then I didn't do any more jungle tunes for eight years. No? Yes. What did you do? What like? Because <laughs> I remember you saying earlier, like you work and all that. And so, what, what would you say music was your hobby? Music is my passion. Yeah, passion. I, yeah, I that's always will be. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just stick with hobby. Hobby is a bit weak. Yeah, powerful. It's my tool, passion. It? Yeah, it's my passion, and I can never stop doing it. Even though I wasn't doing it and making records, I was still involved in music some way along the line. I wasn't, you know, producing tracks and putting them out, but I still wanted to do it. Um, but for this reason and for that reason, I didn't record any more DMB for a good seven, eight years. Wow. And um, and then me Why and is that? Well, because of different avenues or in the uh, music or just to good? It's complicated and I don't know if it makes sense for me to go into it, but <laughs> it didn't. It, I didn't do anything. And um, okay, man. And then Shy, me and Shy linked up and, um, and Shy said to me, it would be nice to do a remix of Who Run Things Enough. And this was in 1995. No, 1995? No, this was, sorry, this was in 2003. So from 1995 to 2003, that's when I re-entered Jungle. Okay. And, and Shy did a remix of Who Run Teams and he called so it Murderation. So, so you come in with Who Run Teams. Yeah. You took a break for eight years. Yeah. Then you come back with a remix of Who Run Teams. Yeah, yeah, called Murderation. And that went straight to number one. And that... Ah, so saying because at the start of Murderation, you've got that sample saying, "Who run things? Who run things?" Exactly. Yeah, man. That's the tune. The tune is "Who run things?" Because it says we're going to take this back to vintage. Yeah. You, m- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's quite a little subliminal message there. Yeah. So, so Murderation came out, and it just mashed up the place. One extra just loved it. You know. Even what I think, I think, I think it was playlisted on. It, yeah, it was playlisted on, on Radio One or something like that as well. It did really well, you know what I mean. And um, and then from there, uh, I started thinking about getting back into the scene and started doing gigs and stuff. And 
set up a little thing called Murderation with me and my brethren Codebreaker and my DJ um, called DJ Majestic. And we started getting, you know, getting involved and setting up our little gigs and doing shows. And yeah, man. And, and that, that was going on all right. And then Shy spoke to me again and he said, I'm doing an album and I'd love you to be on the album. And that was digi I'm Diary of a Digital Soundboy. And he gave me a rhythm and I wrote On The Run. And that was... So you actually wrote the lyrics for that? I thing, write yeah? all my lyrics done. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just brother dealing with that. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think, got, you think I've got someone writing lyrics? No, 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 uh, no, 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 it, no. It's for the people. It's a Jamaican thing. It's a Jamaican thing. We don't like people writing lyrics for us. I'm very Jamaican, although I was born in England. And if, if you're an artist and someone's writing for you, it's kind of a little no, bit. Especially, no, if, especially if you're an MC. I don't really deal with that, man. I write my own things. I've got, I've got a mind of my own. I've got, I've got things in my head that I want to express to the people then. And so I've got to... That's cool. It's nice to know that, man. Come from me. All right, that's cool, man. That's yeah. And so um, that was um, that was the tune uh, on the run, yeah. On the run. Okay, cool, man. So that came out in two thousand and three. No, in two thousand and five. Yeah. So yeah. So um, yeah, and and uh, and then I've just you know I've just been bouncing around basically since then, um, doing shows here and there, um, and no, sorry. On the Run came out, I think, in 2007 with the album Diary of a Digital Soundboy. Um, so I've just been bouncing around. Um, but now I think I'm ready to unleash some serious, serious, serious rhythms on people. Yeah? Some serious tunes. Um, and I've been working on a project um, which I think will take the form of an album very, very soon. Um, so people just keep watching out for that. But I'm definitely going to have some singles coming out on V. On V Records. Well, so so, you, so all your forthcoming, so a few forthcoming singles from yourself are going to be released on V Recordings. Oh, oh, yeah, I think so. The way things are shaping up at the moment, yeah, I, that, I, that's what, that's what I think is going to happen. Okay, cool, so man. It's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 really good. Do you know what I mean? To have that relationship with V Recordings as well. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's really good, man. So you actually, you know what I mean? You keeping it? You ain't gone to like, you know what I mean? A big like, you've actually kept it in the drum and bass kind of. Yeah, connection. Yeah, I, ha I have and I haven't, and uh, the reason why I say that is because some of the material I'm working on is not drum and bass. Well, that's you, you're an artist. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you, of course, yeah. you're entitled to do that. Yeah, but the majority of the, uh, the the material I'm working on is jungle or stroke drum and bass. Um, but there's also going to be some dubstep. So for all the dubstep massive, I've got some I've got some tricks up my sleeve for you. I've got some dubstep. I've got some straight dancehall because you know I mean I grew up in the dancehall era, so I have to have some dancehall on my. I'm my, I'm my, in my, you know, in my <laughs> kit, and I've got some straight reggae stuff as well because, do you know what I mean? I'm a reggae boy still. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, man. So, so there's a, uh, you know, I just think that the end of this year and the beginning of next year, I think, are going to be really exciting for me as an artist. I think there's a lot of things I've got coming that I've got to offer, um, and I just hope that people enjoy what I bring. Yeah, of course. We love mm -hmm. the vibes, man. Yeah. And like I said earlier, you know what I mean? You're bringing um. You're bringing something that's original, you know what I mean? You're bringing yeah. actual vocal talent, and you're not just coming in and um, doing live PAs. You're yeah. actually putting yourself in a position where you're actually singing, like taking an MC's place. You're singing over a live DJ set, man, which yeah. we will see later on, which is really, 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 <laughs> really amazing, man. Yeah. All right. But, uh, thank you for coming down again, David Bummer. Uh, just uh, you're locked into the Heavy Artillery Show uh, every Thursdays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, got a few shout outs. I want to big up the Adam Burton from Cornwall. Um, I want to big up John from Bermondsey saying, Pure conscious vibes. Boomer, big up. Big up David Boomer, Murderation. That's all the Bermondsey crew. Um, yeah, yeah. Hold tight, Bobby um, from, from Clapham. All right. Hold tight, Angel and Kama. They're saying, to the P, to the H, to the A, to the T. Yeah, <laughs> that <right>. beats. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, you just carry on and conduct the interview, man. And then hopefully, yeah. like you said, we get they, we get yourself up yeah. onto. Um, Can I just big up DJ Soldier um, for making the link with yourself and myself and making this happen? Because if it wasn't for DJ Soldier, I probably wouldn't be here today. So big respect to the Knowledge and Wisdom crew, Terry T, DJ Soldier. Um, you know what I mean? Big up them man, they're Peter Bouncer, all them, you know, big up. Yeah, man, and, and can I big up Congo Nutty, yeah. Rebel MC, JC, Lion B, Codebreaker, you know what I mean? Big up all them man, because I've been Tenor Fly, Daddy Freddy, because we've been working hard this year 
touring. Yeah, you were saying that actually earlier, yeah. didn't you? Like you're actually you're doing some stuff with Tenafly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you can catch you can catch Conga Nati, um, Tenafly, Daddy Freddy, David Bomber, Codebreaker at Glastonbury on the twenty seventh. That's gonna be wicked. It's man. gonna be fat. Believe me, it's gonna <laughs> be nice. Yeah. So remember that when that, when is it? It's Glastonbury this year. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seventh, oh. day before my birthday. Okay, man. That's yeah. that's massive, man. Yeah. That is, that is big stuff, man. That is big stuff. Okay, cool. We're just going to keep moving on. I'm going to start throwing some more questions at you. Okay, I thought you were done. No, 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 man. Got a few more questions to get through. So, um, right, we've got through quite a lot. You know what I mean? You started in 94 with uh, the tune Who Run Things with Shy Effects. Yeah. So uh, how's that relationship with Shy Effects? You stay in contact? You looking to do more stuff together? I, I, I'd love to work with Shy. I'm going to say this openly on the air, but Shy is one of the hardest mothers to get hold of. <laughs> and he's one of the hardest guys to get back to you. So, you know, Shy's out there. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing stuff. I'm always up for working with Shy. Shy, and I think he knows it as well. So, Shy, if you're listening, done, give me a holler. You know what I mean? Let's make another number one done. We've had three already. Let's make four. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's all I've got to say. <laughs> yeah, that's big talk, man. All right, so, um, so what, right, let's talk about your future. What have you got up and coming? So, like you was talking about, you've got a couple um, tunes coming out on V. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I mean, I don't want to say too much about it, but I've, I've, been, working, I've been working really, really hard um, for the past year creating tunes. And I've got about, in my kit right now, I've got about 19 to 20 brand spanking new tunes up my sleeve to unleash on the people then. So, you know what I mean? There's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. Um, and, you know, I'm, V are going to put some of them out because V are hearing them and they're liking the vibe. Yeah, that's um, that's and good. we just have to wait and see what comes from there. But you're going to hear some tonight. You know what yeah? I mean? I've got, yeah, man, of course. <laughs> I ain't come empty handed. I've got presents for everyone. So. <laughs> well, the Christmas is here. Yeah, we got David Bubba. All right, so um, right, we can ask Sam, where, so where did you get your influ influences from? I know you said a lot, like, come from Jamaica and stuff mm. like that. Is it just reggae and ragga, or you a soul man, or? Everything. Yeah. I listen to everything, man. You look in the my, if, you, if you look at my record boxes, man, you'll laugh, man. There's everything. You got them Willie Nelson records in that, there. Do, tr I've got Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. Don't ramp with Ooh. me, Dan. I've got everything. I've got Queen. You <laughs> name it. You know what I mean? I've got everything. Reggae, soul, rare groove, hip hop. I listen to everything. So you're versatile. You get influence from every, everywhere. I yeah? get influence from everywhere, and I get influence from life. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just life itself. Just seeing things happening. Reading the newspaper. Do you know what I mean? I got influenced heavily by, from my grandmother who raised me, do you know what I mean? And the values and morals that she gave to me, they influence the way I write and what I think about and how I approach everything. Yeah, that's you know nice, I mean? man. So, so okay. big up to my grandmother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got Grandma Buma. Yeah. So, um, like, obviously you've played in a few places. So where would you say uh, the best place you played at? Hands, hands down at the moment, it's got to be Madrid. Madrid, yeah? Madrid. Me... Check this out. Me, well, let me start properly. <laughs> Conga Nutty, put him at the top. I am, am running. Conga Nutty, Daddy Freddy, Tenor Fly, David Boomer, Codebreaker, all on stage one time in Madrid Arena with about 8,000 people. Sick. Yeah. Horrors. We went on just after Dizzy Rascal. And I'm telling you, Don, it wasn't nice, man. We, we, we murked the place. <laughs> we, it went off. It went off. And we were on for about, we were on for about two hours. And, um... And when we said our last tune, and this was about 8 a.m. in the morning, the Madrid people was like, what are you doing? Which last tune? I'm thinking, aren't you tired? Like, like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that, that heat as well. Like 8 in the morning, and you've been here all night, and th we're the last act, and you want us to do more after two hours. They were mad. They were mad. And then the next day, when we were walking down the street to Madrid, people were saying, yeah, we saw you last night. Oh, you wicked. You guys rock. I was like, it's all that's good. That's nice, though. That actually feeling like that's quite a few reggae yeah. artists from England, you know what I mean, out yeah. in Spain. Yeah, so Madrid was, was really electric, and big up Conga Nutty again for giving me the opportunity for coming on tour with him. It was wicked. You know yeah, I mean? how, how, how is that? What, what's it like touring and stuff with them guys? <laughs> if you tour with Tenafly and Daddy Freddy, you just get jokes 24 hours a day, because all they do is cuss each other all the time. <laughs> but they, they love each other, do you know what I mean? They're bona fide brethren, but they just love to tease each other. So... From the day from we got to the airport, they were teasing each other at the airport all the way to the hotel room. Even when we were going on stage, when they were both given their mic just to go on, they were teasing each other on the mics. 
e even though the people could hear it in the audience, they were still teasing each other. That's so. Ten of Fly and Daddy Freddy together, man, is just jokes, nonstop. Oh, that's cool, man. So it's wicked being on tour. Uh, you know, what I mean, you don't get to see the country that much, unfortunately. You just get to go out there, jump on stage, and do your thing. But so is it more of a business? Thing it's then, more yeah. like business, but you know, you get to have fun because you're, you're with people that you enjoy being with, and do you know, what I mean. Well, well it makes that like connection of friends. It's even a bit more tighter, like a family. You know I mean? a family yeah, thing. man. It's a family thing. Yeah. Well, so you got no gossip to like what what. No gossip in, in, in the tour bus or uh, <laughs> no, Who not, snores? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not right, not cool, me. Man. Not you, no. <laughs> All right, wicked. So um <coughs> So what are your plans for the future? What what do you want to what would you want the name David Bummer to be in five years time? I you know what, Dan? It's a difficult that's a really difficult question to ask. I just um I always say this, and some people probably are getting fed up of me saying it. I just want to be recognised as an artist um, because it's all I've ever wanted to do ever since I was a. Was, I can remember. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm lucky that I found a daytime job that I enjoy, which is working with young people and supporting young people. Oh, so, what, so what's that? That's in your in your nine to five, yeah? Kind of, because I've stopped doing it now, and I now just train people how to do it. I've, I've done my time of being a youth worker face to face. Now I train people how to be youth workers. Oh, that's but, wicked, man! But I did it for a good 18 years, so. I've done my time of doing it, and now I'm, I train people. But I'm passionate about supporting young people. Um, so, but the music thing for me, man, is just something that I can't stop doing it, even if I tried. And 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 what I would like is to be able to make a living off off music, make a You'd living. You'd like to, yeah. Yeah, I would like to be able to make a living off what I love, what I'm passionate about. Do you know what I mean? And that's and that's what I'm aiming for. I'm that's a perfect job, isn't it? You it's know what I mean? It's a perfect job. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd, I'd be. That's what I want. You know what I mean? Okay, cool, man. Um, so, <coughs> right. So uh, at the moment, who's the fav who's, who's your favourite DJ? What's the best DJ you've ever worked with? Oh man, you're, oh, what are you trying to do to me, Don? <laughs> <laughs> Just for your truthful answers, man. You're really trying to hurt me now, aren't you? That's 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 tough, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of DJs I've worked with, man. That's that's hard. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's, there's, uh, there's too many, man. I work with people like Benny Page. I work with people like um, uh, Rough Stuff. I've oh, worked yeah. with, you know what I mean? I'm working with Congo Nutty. That's sick. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm working with a lot of DJs, so it's kind of hard for me to just say, right, this is the one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I get a different vibe from different DJs. Do you know what I mean? That's and fair, fair enough. And, that, and, that's, and that's cool. All right, we can. So, um, how do you want to answer who's the favourite MC you work with then? Boy, <laughs> man. <laughs> You're really trying to mash me up for... I, c I don't know, man. That's hard. That's hard. All right, well, let's put it like this. Who, who, who would you like to have to the right of you on a stage in front of people who you know you can just vibe with and bounce? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Right. The person that I've worked with the most in drum and bass is Codebreaker. And you know he's he's ultra talented MC. People don't know they really need to get to know. I did a track called Two Tone Sound. It came out on Ganja Records. Um, he he, he co-produced the track and he spits on the track and I sing on the track. Um, and it went to number one. Um, you know what I mean? Um, and it's a wicked tune. And he's just lyrically ill, basically. So he's gonna be at Glastonbury with me. He's gonna be on my set. Yeah, on my half hour set with me, right beside me, as you said. And you know what I mean? I know that he will mash it up. Um, on a ragga dancehall vibe, this brother that's sitting beside me right now, Juxy Demas. <laughs> Are we going to hear oh. bits from you later, Jux? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and you know what? That's just reminded me of another man that's, you know, that I've just done a track with called Whitey. And I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. I don't care, man. Whitey is one to watch. He is a... Watch out for Whitey, yeah? He's got an album out at the moment called Barn in a Babylon. It's a wick. It's the, one of the best reggae albums I've heard in the past ten years. <laughs> I'm not even good. ramping. So Whitey, yeah, it's all good. Right, wicked. So we're just coming to the end, and uh, it's time for Hitman's target. And what basically Hitman does is he aims his target at someone, right? Uh -oh. And then uh, David Bumage, you're the special guest. You got 30 seconds to give your opinion on that person. Oh damn! <laughs> right. So who's your who's your target weekly, Hitman? Timmy Malik. <laughs> oh my God. Right, give uh, 30 seconds opinion on Timmy Malik. Go on, David Boomer, go. Not my favourite person, 
um, annoying, irritating. Um, each, uh, should he be a children's presenter? I'm not so sure. <laughs> right, that's your time, man. That's wicked, man. All right, that's cool, man. All right, so uh, one last question. All right, and uh, as you're a youth worker, you'll be able to answer this quickly. I just want to big up Aspa Williams, coming from Croydon, saying they am David Boomer, soundboy killer. All right, big up you, girl. Hey, oh, hold man. on, hold on. Let me just let me just clarify. That's my wife. Okay. So, but, 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 <laughs> to my wife, love you like cooked food. And I might as well, while I'm at it, just big up my son and my daughter, Danielle and Dahlia, because you know what? They're singing all of my tunes right now. We jump in my oh. car and they're singing. I've got a tune called Crying for Peace. And they say, I'm crying for peace. <laughs> so they think I'm saying I'm crying for peace. They think I want food. But anyway, love to my, my two little ones, Daniel and Dahlia. And love to my wife, Aspa. Big oh, tins. bless up, yeah. man. Right, last question. Like I said, as your youth worker, you'll be able to answer this perfectly, man. What message would you give to the youth of today? The youth of today, the message I would give to them, and it's the message that I give to most people, is think for yourself. Don't follow people. Yeah? Have confidence in yourself and have self-belief in yourself, yeah? And that will take you very, very far. Do you know what I mean? And just, you know, they use them now. They need to step back, take a look at themselves and, and try to understand about respecting other people and respecting themselves. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what the problem I think is with the youth nowadays is that they don't respect themselves and they're kind of just, they're kind of a bit lost. Yeah, Do you know man. what I mean? And, and I feel it for them because they've been exposed to so much rubbish through the internet and the TV and things that we never had when we were growing up. When I was growing up, a whole heap of things I didn't, weren't exposed to me, but they've got everything at their fingertips and it's making them spoiled. So they need to just stop, stop following people and do what they know is right in their heart. Done. Bless up for that, David. Right, round of applause here, man. <laughs> Thank you, David Bummer, for coming in. Old side jokes, long side. Hopefully we're gonna hear some of your stuff as well, man. It's gonna be <laughs> wicked. All right, cool, if you should just ask you to sign the heavy artillery T-shirt, and if you wouldn't mind as well, please, Jook. Yeah, man. With pleasure. Right. Take your place up on there, man. Okay. There's your Sharpie. <laughs> and uh, remember, people, you're looked into the Heavy Artillery Show every Thursdays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And uh, basically, what we're going to do now is David Woman's going to get up on the microphone and we're, and perform his vocal talent and also be performing uh, live PA on tracks that um, he's made and forthcoming. So um, I hope you stay, I hope you enjoyed the show. Have you enjoyed the interview and stay locked in to the heavy artillery show? Hitman, where we at? Yeah, this happens to be the shocking. Bigging up the heavy artillery massive in the hizzle. Hey, diddle. You are now in tune to the sound of DJ fully equipped and DJ Hitman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We're pumping, wreck, wreck, wreck. One, two, one, two, okay. Oh, you mean big dog. All of the drum and bass crew, you're done now. Run it. I'm in the court house. One second. Can me kill another sound boy. I'm in a big friend. David Bummer just upload them mind. Yaga yo. Okay. Are you ready for this one? Are you lining me up, rude boy? So far rock, get in the groove. Come up with windows, come up with late night blues. Get us on a far rock, you know. Get in the groove, you know. Wine. Put on your dancing. Make a way, time for the middle man. Run for the beat, no time for the middle man. Run for the beat, no time for the middle man. For the beat, time for the middle man. Eh, eh. Time for the middle man, run. We time for the middle man, glide. Time for the middle man, run. For the way, time for the middle man, glide. Yeah. Ticket, ticket, shot my golden hand. She lays eggs for the gentleman. Sometimes nine and sometimes ten. From morning, from my golden hand. Whoa, I'm searching from morning, from my golden hand. I have this little girl of my own. She wake up this morning, she never eat no breakfast. She never eat no breakfast. Let me say. She wake up this morning and no eat no breakfast. Yeah. She walk down the road and she faints in the past. Oh no! It's not my fault that she faints in the past. So, 
Yeah, yeah. Move it to the girl, Peter. What we do? What do we do? Give me some room, mother, dan, da, da. Took in the young and the club, my girls holla. It's getting hot in here. You know it's gonna get hotter. So catch me in the VIP, because I'm a big baller. You see, you're hitting me, you wanna be me, you know you wanna. Only smoke big pots of God from my banner. And anywhere we go, they got someone to follow. So come along, you see the we have a power color. Won't you look at that? Baby got back. Play a slow jam, make me get up in a dad. Then he back way, make me see that booty clap. That booty make her brother how I wanna lean back. Yeah, yo, so we do it. Yeah, we're warming in, warming in. That's who. I was just so warm in. So we do. Okay. This one's called Babylon Boy. My good brother Benny Page. Babylon Boy. Okay. Check this. Babylon Boy. Hey, dirty Babylon boy, don't try. Babylon, I take me a ride, I take me as a joke. The poorer class just can't go. Babylon, I scheme and then my plan. I tell with every vote that you can not go sleep cold. Babylon, I take me be a ride, I take me as a joke. The poorer class just can't go. Babylon, I scheme and then my plan. I tell with every vote that you can not go sleep cold. Cause I'm a hustler, get up on warrior Me not go bow to your laws and your media And me no want to be pieces of silver No keep no friend with no farmer in farmer No there's a plan to keep the ghetto you thunder Put up resistance, me fling on me armor You ask the question, I'll give you the answer Me not retreat and me not Babylon, I take with me a ride, I take with me as a joke. The poor class just can't cope. Babylon, I scheme and then my plan. I tell with the people that you cannot go sleep cope. Babylon, I take with me a ride, I take me as a joke. The poor class just can't cope. Babylon, I scheme and then my plan. I tell with the people that you cannot go sleep cope. Now, brother, tell me, say you want me to prosper. Just drop the desktop on pressing your brother. Hey. Consumed by greed and consumed by desire. For David Boomer and the poor people governor. Ah, well, every day another tax you discover. Huh. The poor are class just are living at the gutter. Yeah, yeah. So what's the plan now where you want for the future? I wonder where you are going to tell the creator. Lord of mercy. David Boomer's alongside Jook City. You cannot go sleep cold. Huh. Babylon, huh. I take with me the right. I take me as a joke. The poor class just can't go. Babylon, I scheme and then my plan. I tell me the people that all right, hold on. Let's hear that piece now. I'm a Gideon. I don't want to cry. Revolution, can I not try? Every day you need, get so you die. And politicians just sit back with them dry eye. I'm a Gideon. I don't want to cry. Revolution, can I not try? Every day you need, get so you die. And politicians just sit back with them dry eye. Babylon now. Wow, wow. David Booms the Lero Pandego, jeez! You cannot go sleep cold. Tell them, are you? Tell them! I feel like I see my day, my plan, and then I tell with the people. No way, yeah. Yes, my DJ, rolling it.
on the run. Yeah, that's up some of the old things. I'm gonna give you some new things in a minute. Big respect to DJ Viper Dunn, Cool FM. Easy the funky flirt. Lion Double on the way in New York. Yeah, yeah. Big shout to Gary C. Out to the student Dave, Hannah, and Little Bailey. One love, my brethren. Yeah, another shout coming from G. Going out to the MC Abbott and the DMV family. Yes, Gary, see how here you're done. Enough more big tunes coming. Big shout to Angela and Camera. Angela and Camera up in Norwich. Oh my God, Norwich, I love Norwich. Norwich is big. As we roll this one out. All right, my brethren. I think I can hear Shy FX's rhythm. Sounds like on the run to me. Rewind and come again, Dan. Rewind and come again, man. Okay. Yeah. So this is, I'm playing, I'm, I'm going to do a little couple of the old tunes before I give you some of the new new material so this one's called on the run big respect to shy effects this one came out a little while ago run the track rude boy na 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 no yeah let me tell them if you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You'll find it nice to feel the sun on your face. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You'll find it nice to feel the sun on your face. Easy code breaker. Majestic. All right, one more time for the people. Here. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You'll find it nice to feel the sun on your face. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You'll find. Nice to feel the sun on your face. You always hitch up on the corner. You're always smoking marijuana. But don't you think life could be better? You need to check the bigger picture. With every day you're getting older, the expectations getting larger. I hope one day you'll make your mother. 
So that's my son to be a Chiba. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You find it's nice to feel the sun on your face. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You find it's nice to feel the sun on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a blessing to be free, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What a blessing. With every day you're getting older, the expectations getting larger. I hope one day you'll make your mother. So that's my son, the big achiever. Bro. You always hit up on the corner, boy. Always smoking marijuana, boy. I hope you think life can be better. Yeah. If you are bad, boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude, boy, you'll end up on the oh, run. you find it's nice to feel the sun on your face. Mama. If you are bad, boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude, boy, you'll end up on the run. you find it's nice to feel the sun. On your
Okay then. Okay. Bring it, Rude Boy. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, this one is, boy, this is a special still, you know, because no one ain't really heard this tune. This is a, a unreleased Benny Page remix of Murderation. Yeah, yeah. let's get there. When You're I gave this exclusive. Business, it wasn't about money, it was about music. David Boomer, Benny Page, Fan of I'm going to teach about original vintage. You that never trouble me. Then should I never trouble me? Murderation. Then should I never trouble me? Murder. Then should I never trouble me? Murderation. Then should I never trouble me? Must you see a coffin where you lie? Why you wanna die tonight? Why you wanna die tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must you see a coffin where you lie? Why do you wanna die tonight, boy? Why do you wanna put up a fight? Yeah, you that never trouble me. Murderation. Yeah, you should that never trouble me. Murder. You should have never trouble me. Yeah, yeah. Murderation. Hey, hey. You should have never trouble me. Murder, murder. Oh, Life so long. That took the big gangster man to see a song. Righteousness and the road to wisdom. Trust and believe in the Almighty One. Life so long. I took the big gang, some man pissed your strong. Righteousness are the road to wisdom. Must I believe me, tell you why. Party popping, beast them dropping. We're taking the mic up one and then the old face rocking. rocking. Took to the you are one re-rag I'm off in. So we man and grow from a youth and beef talking. For the ladies you know we're being loving. Non-stopping, be a bit up in. Dressless to we press, we're next to nothing. Mini skirt, eye ease, and then suck in. Damn girl, you're looking so stunning. Twist up the eye, them like shh, me burning. So me lumping, wanna be standing something. Come girl, stop at the front in, yow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told ya, Juxy Demas. That's how we do it, big. Bumsy, long time when I did. Jeez. Passing through on the day, big mama. Yeah. Are we are gladiator. What we say? Are we a gladiator? All right. Are we a gladiator? Run up your mouth in front of me, you lose your life. Hey. I will not take no prisoner. Now wait. Above your foot, above your hand, and then go near me, be like are we a gladiator? Yeah, yeah. If you pose in front of me, you lose your life. I will not take no prisoner. I'm gonna tell you what the is going on. I'm gonna tell you how this all began. In the arena, in a one big stadium. I point to the gun let down. But David put my lion out and him no fear. And Chuck Dinero said he's running things this year. And David put my said they're telling you prepare. Hey, hey, hey. Dippy, dippy, boy, get me fear. We are gladiator. Gladiator. Run up your mouth in front of we, you lose your life. Don't know. We're not taking no prisoner. All of the girls love. If you pose in front of me, you lose your life. I will not take my prisoner. If you pose in front of me, you're not going to take my prisoner. Girls, how we love the eye candy. Fit body can make me run day. All of the women be giant. We from UK to Miami. Love the eye candy. Fit body can make me run day. All of the women be giant. We from UK to Miami. Yeah. We run the road. Look how the sexy girl them all bout. Why no nobody can make booty bout. Watch all the man them ready be pout. When we sing again. Sexy like whoa. No piece of the girl in them winding down low. Take that booty to and fro. 
What all the man them lose control when we sing again? I love the way they go. Oh. I love the way they show. Oh. I always want to go where they must go. I love the way they go. Yeah. I love the style they show. I really love the girls. Well, hot girls. Huh. I love the way they go. Oh, I love the style they show. Oh, I always want to go where they must go. I girls. I love the way they go. I love the style they show. Sing I out. really love the girls. Don't get me wrong, I'm a one woman. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for it. Hot girl. Wait for it. See if it's my exclusive. Watch it. Woo. What is that? Me take a walk up to West Rydan To check a girl when they me re Hey, hey! Me did it all until me read Brickstan Filling up with sexy Susan Now so! Jump on a cube and stop at Victoria That's where I plan to meet Gloria <laughs> Ha I travel all the way to Amstead Eat To spend a little time with Lily Hot girl, I love the way Oh! Oh! Ha, you ain't heard it yet? You ain't heard it yet? Hot. Bring it, man, bring it, bring it. I really love the girl. All of the girls round the globe, watch we. Pick up all the listeners. Love or no? Okay. How can it have girls? Color, you know, pop it, pop it. All right. Jeez. I'm ready to give you some new material now. See? <laughs> right, you've heard all the old business, all the old stuff. So now, forthcoming, yeah? This one is called Hot Girls. I can't even say it with a producer without to keep it on the down low. But it's a bad, it's a big tune. Run the rhythm, rude boy. This one goes out to all wifey's about the place, yeah? Because you know, so you're hot girls. Big respect to Solo Bantang. Baby Boomer featuring Soul Abandon on this one. Uh, yo! Hot girls! Baby Boomer exclusive! The West Grind down. Mm-hmm. Me check a girl when they name Miriam. Tell them. Me dilly dally till me reach Brickstand. Oh. Me link up with sexy Susan. Oh, your man. Jump on that tube and stop at Victoria. That's where I plan to meet Gloria. Hey, man, I tell you. I travel all the way to Hampstead Heath. What? Me spend a little time with Lily. Hot girls, I love the way they glow. Oh. I love the style they show. Oh. I always want to go where they might go. Hot girls, yeah. I love the way they glow. Yeah. I love the style they show. Yeah. I really love the girls. Girl, I love the way you oh. 
hot girls. I love the way they go. I love the kind they show. I really love the girls. Hot girls. I love the way they go. I love the kind they show. I always want to go where they might go. Hot girls. I love the way they go. I love the kind they show. I really love the girls. Don't get me wrong, I'm a one woman man But me love to see a girl with a nice complexion hey! It's broad ways and a sexy butter You're the reason why you have to write the sound You're here! And I got it where give me enjoyment huh? The fuck a hot girl where I've seen Are you me? We wish the body well and all this magnificent I love it when I get that confident Where we sing? Yes! Yeah. Girl, I love the way they oh. I love the story oh. Yo, we drop it up where them I go Hot girl! girl. Yeah. I really love the girls, hot girls. Girl. I always want to go where they might go, hot girls. I love the way they glow, I love the sound they show. I really love the girls. Big things. That was a bit, that was a bit mad. Four thousand years ago, secrets that protect their dead. Supernatural powers that once released can live again in our modern world. The living dead, bringing terror and death across 4,000 years. <laughs> the mummy. Oh, dirty. Dirty with him. Dead. One. Fully equipped. You're hurting them, rude boy. Dirty baseline. Bringing the artillery. Done now. Couple shots, yeah? Hitman. Big up, done. Bad man. Oh, you mean? Every time. I want to big up. Man like Jabba Irie. You're done now, foundation, my brother. Are you me? DJ Bentley. Yeah, my brother for years. Brigadier. Original foundation. See? And when we come out, Boomer and Jokes and you run the road. Boom! Not a monster. Silly bang! <laughs> That's what it says on the tin. No, Simmy. This, this is what it says. It says this. Bang! And the dirt is gone. <laughs> Redeem! That's yeah, how we do it. Madness. I want to big up the youth then. Tashan, Dijon. My son Reese, hold it up, big man, cause we love you like food. See? Easy code breaker. Two down sound coming down to reach ya. Another number one. I'm singing this one for the children. Crystal clear, the message I'm sending. The message I'm sending. Yeah, yeah. Special dedication to the children. Yeah. Never could another song boy be sweeter. Huh. Yeah. Alright, this is the hard part. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Your actions demonstrate you wanna be a gangster, but that won't take you far. Now who do you think you are? Uh, who? who do you think you are? Yeah. 
Your actions demonstrate you wanna be a gangster. Oh. Your clothes, your walk, your stare. It makes you out to make a brother show. Uh. But that don't frighten me. I'm happy with my own identity. Now follow, follow, walla, walla, anybody. I got the spice girls and I certainly ain't no wannabe. Sure. Cause I just want to be me. Yee, 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 yee. You. Done now. Two sounds sound coming. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You find it nice to feel the sun on your face. If you are bad boy, you'll end up on the run. If you are rude boy, you'll end up on the run. You find it nice to feel the sun on your face. Are we to alter order? Are we to pin the club? Dear drama. I'm a big same CV get slaughter. You know we run things like Obama Girl, you look good in your brother Dirty wine <laughs> Oh my god Oh no Gee. Oh Oh, oh. Hitman Oh, that's not nice Don't be pleased Fully equipped. Boom. Heavy artillery. Setting up the side for the new with 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 the new the the Oh my gosh, I'm sweating in the sweat box, working for my money, and I still ain't gonna get paid, but it's all good. We need for the love, not the money, as my Bridget Codebreaker says. <laughs> I hold my hat out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm telling you, busking in the Fat Beat studio, David Boom alongside Juxit D. Big! Spare some change. All right. Yeah, this one's potential bad boy. Come. Yeah, big tune. I'm gonna give you a little taste of this one, just a little taste. Cause every girl in the world them needs some concrete love. Unconditional, never asking for much. Can the win this feel not some teenage crush? A love that's gonna fill her up. Hey, hey. Concrete love, yeah. That real good love, yeah. yeah. Some concrete. <laughs> All right. Serious now. 
every girl in the world that needs some concrete love. Unconditional, never asking for much. Genuineness, real, not some teenage crush. A love that's gonna fill her up. She wants some concrete love, yeah. She want that real good love, yeah. She want that concrete love, yeah. She want that real good love, yeah. Want to own what kind of pleasure? No one no plastic love. Move her till color seal she reveal. She wants a love she can feel. Yo, yo. I want to know about commitment. They're always creeping around. So girls when no say you're special. I want you to give me a sound. Every girl in the world that needs some concrete love. Unconditional, never asking for much. It's genuine, it's good, it's not some teenage crush. I love that's gonna fill her up. She wants some concrete love, yeah. She want that real good love, yeah. She want that concrete love, yeah. She want that real good love, yeah. A man with potential, no one to treat her right. A man who knows what she's thinking. The bond is water time. She wants to feel like she's floating upon the wings of love. A bond that lasts forever, and that's called concrete love. What we do? What we do? Every girl in the world that needs some. That's what I. That's what I. That's enough. Leave it, leave it, leave it. 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 Leave it, Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Genuine is really not some teenage crush. Love that's gonna fill her up. She wants some country love, yeah. She wants some real good love, yeah. She wants that country love, yeah. So we do it! Huh. Yeah, man. That's it, right? Okay, okay. okay. Yaga yo, yaga yo. Oh, yo, man. Jordan V. Big thing. Wicked mix. Big up fully a quick Yaguan. Good.
Yeah. Back to the dance hall style, you know. Long time we have won them, a long time we had teased them. Reaching we had reach across the border, we kill another sound boy. Whoa, oi. We kill another sound boy. From the silent producer, can't mention his name. The place might blow up if I do. <laughs> yeah. Give oh, about politics and others. Hold on, 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 Respect champion sound. Enough said. Hey, yeah, look out for this one. This one's coming out on V. For definite. Look out for this. Hitman fully equipped. Shoot panic. Yeah. So we're big. This is how we do. Come and brand new woo. Dear people, my man, sending this one out to my wife. I know she loves it. That's good uh, All right, sound boy, listen. Sound boy playing there, and a sound boy playing there. You're looking for a big sound guy, hey, hey. and this is really a fan. Long time I say, we've been getting sound boy. You better run and hide Cause tonight you're gonna die You have to respect hey. The champion Done now. Yes we are the number one hey, hey, hey. Yes we are the number one Tell me now, tell me now Ja no one Ja ja no one Nobody can stop me now No way Nobody can stop me now yeah. Brimstone and fire Hey, hey. You better run and hide Cause it's time to step aside You want yeah. to respect The champion Yes, we are the number one Yes, we are the number one Ja no one Ja ja no The plates and 45 12 inch and special Long time I say You have to respect Sound boy Ya ga ya Boom it up, boom it up And the rhythm of Joke City ripping it The crystal ID sipping it Smoke the signs, part of your slack Touch it back way, now I'm sticking it Joke City a quantity Slam the gal them full of protein Crystal like green man like it lean all my ladies, all of my queen, we're wasting our game. Long time I say, we've been getting sound wise. Yeah, yeah. You better run and I, cause tonight you're gonna die. You want to respect the champion. 
Yes, we are the number one. Yes, we are the number one. My crew. Jaja no one. Nobody can stop we now. Nobody can stop we now. Rimstone and fire sound boy lose control. Now it's time to step aside. You have to risk hey. The champion. Yes, we are the number one. <laughs> yes, we are the number one. Jaja no one. Jaja no one. Twelve inches special. Yeah man. Yeah. You have to respect. Respect. God, you will boom, you wanna take a lunch, and then miss it, punch up every day, get a man's side, love at hand. What we do? All my cup of home, Mr. Yinna, for me. Anyway, my God, they come and run, dance, man, how it, rapid, you woman, how it, rapid, you man. Get man, you man, you must get a man's side, love at hand. When we come and ask, I don't know the best, I don't say you feel jam. No, say you feel the car, you are done. I love you, see. Cool. Love enough. So we do 2010. Be a love. You're done now. Okay, I can hear it. 
You might remember this one. Never call my girl a bitch. No way! Never ever make my girl feel under Big! Bring it, bring it back, rude boy. Bring it Big. back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Big! Ah, uh, so you know. David Boomer. So you know this one? Yeah, bro. We don't disrespect okay. the girl, not time, cause we yeah. love her. No. Potential bad boy David Boomer. I told you, I, I told you I've done a couple of tunes. I told you. We try to warn them. Big respect, big respect to potential bad boy, my bona fide brethren for a long, long time. Hey, 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 hey! All right, oldies but goodies. I would never ever call my girl a bitch. Yes. Never ever make my girl feel underrated. Never ever call my girl a bitch. I'll get to you, me, I beg you, stop it. Stop it! I would never ever call my girl a bitch. No way! Never ever make my girl feel underrated. Never ever call my girl a bitch. I'll get to you, me, I beg you, stop it. Hey, hey, hey! Big shout to potential. When I look upon the woo 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 woman who gave us men like those nine months were hard, still the youth them have this idiosyncrasy. <laughs> they look on a girl and call her a dog. I must be frightened. Oh, think about it. Take your time. A bitch is a female dog, dog, oh, oh, dog, oh, oh. dog. If a bitch I go cook for you, wash for you, and clean for you, you must be a mongrel or a German shepherd. Ah, and I could never, never ever call my girl a bitch. bitch. Never ever make my girl feel underrated. No way! Never, ever. That's for that rude boy. That's for that. Now, forget it. Forget it. That's in the past. I'll get to, I told you. Woman, take a little dignity and self-respect. Yeah. Don't let no man come call you a hoe. Tell them, Boma, tell them, man. If he tries that on, then point towards the door. Message. And pack up his bags and tell him to go. You know, ho, oh. never ever call my girl a bitch. Hey, hey, hey. Never ever make my girl feel underrated. Never ever call my girl a bitch. I'll get to you, me, I beg you, stop it. Stop it. I would never ever call my girl a bitch. No way. Never ever make my girl feel underrated. Never ever call my girl a bitch. I'll get to you, me, I beg you, stop it. Damn, yeah, you're so scrumptious. But this is about ready to pit and voluptuous. But me see they got me fall and conscious. Man, I stop and I feel like she's famous. All on, jokes it can't breathe. Got me tongue twist, make my brain freeze. Bad man, I dribble when she step out the street. Y'all so fit, call the police. Y'all, you make man's weed. Like kryptonite to what them super breed. I jokes it here at the birds and the bees. Now you got me falling like Alicia Keys. Damn, how you getting on them jeans? I miss you, your girl, next girl get the lead. Bum, cock, 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 waistline petite. Happy funny girl by the end of the week. Hey, search high, low, up, down, like a yo yo. If you find a girl, keep it funny down low. Call double low, seven jokes with the chicken low. Oh, you mean? So we love the girl, them. Big shout to EPR. That's the EPS. My apologies. Big, big respect, man. Yeah, we're working, we're working. We have to big up Wesley too, play. Your dirtiness will love you. <laughs> Money to Vani. Stilo. Big up the Ruby Dan and the Heat Wave crew, see?
We are work all team, yeah. This is my gym session for the week. Oh god, yes. For real, I'm for real. <laughs> Bang! Big up the Bionic Crew scene! Love it This is how we do! All of the crew! Hot beach! Big up DJ Italia and the definition crew. Big. Yeah, man, I'm so we do it. Big things, big things. Okay, okay, okay. Right, channel. I'm gonna introduce a tune. This tune is coming out on On Point Records from Toronto. This is gonna be a big, stinking, dirty tune, man. I'm telling a lie. Yeah, man. Man, well, you know, Marcus, you know, man like Marcus Visionary. Yeah, big, big, big jungle producer. He's on the beats on this one. David Mumma doing the vocals. I like it. I don't know what you're gonna think. Tell me. Hit me up on the, on the, on the internet and tell me how I go on, yeah? This one's called Nice Up The Land. Run the track, rude boy. Big up Marcus Visionary. Big up On Point Records. Ian Everfresh. Your large rude boy. So we should be out in about three, four, five, six months, something like that. Look out for it. Too much gun king, you know? Too much shooting and looting and thing. I love where I deal with it. So you will tell us, you know? Listen. 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 If you feel the way me feel, then come on. Nice be comfy, nice up the lawn. Hey, hey, Let hey. Whistle and blow your fog on. May I tell you? Nice be comfy, nice up the lawn. Hey, hey. Right on me, I tell you, big one. Nice be comfy, nice up the lawn. Hand in at the ear, rock your arm. Nice be comfy, nice up Give it up. I am full of rock and come on. Hey, 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 hey. hey. We my select, we my select. These are big, them junior, bigger than the world, and the world big. Okay. I thought you might like it. Marcus Visionary, David Bummer. On point records, look out for this one. Let me know, tell me Give up, If you feel the way me feel, then come on. Nice, we come feel nice up the lawn. Blow your whistle and blow your fog on. Nice, we come feel nice up the lawn. Catch your eyes on me, I tell you, big one. Nice, we come feel nice up the lawn. Catch your hand in at the ear, brush your arm. Nice, we come feel nice up the lawn. Kaboom! Yeah. Yeah. Boom, 
my wheels Oh! Let me not tell you no. We try to wind them. Big it up, big it up, do it down. All of the old school back in the day, you're done now. I big it up, and in the ear like stick up. DJ Alan pull up, girl wind it up. Girl from your bitch and your boss in the room. Dirty wind and push up, love girl so much. Man a stampede and a rush. DJ Alan pull up. Hey! Too much gun thing, you know? Too much shooting and looting and thing. I love where I deal with So you will tell him, say now. Listen. If you feel the way me feel, then come on. Hey! Nice, we come for nice up the lawn. Blow your whistle and blow your fog on. Nice, we come for nice up the lawn. Big shoes! Nice, I mean, I tell you, big one. Hey! Nice, we come for nice up the lawn. Yeah! I mean, I think you brought your arm. Nice, we come for nice up the lawn. Who is that? Yeah, sorry about that. That's a that's a dirty tax man beat. Sorry about that. Oh, what a walk of a pumpkin belly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who watched me dad know me old time granny? From down in the country. Hey. It's a whole what a walk of a pumpkin belly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I don't care. Big up tax man anyway. We have to link up soon, rude boy. We got tunes to make. Believe that. Big up DJ Hype. Yeah. Big up Pascal. When it comes to sound business and we run things for years, we don't yeah. tears. You know I love me, I do this. Chat back. Turn up fly and David Bummer. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna switch it on you now. Top step styling. So now go dead. It's a burial. So now go dead. It's a funeral. If them not dead, it's a miracle you chance my sound. Now you're in the dumpy zone. So now go dead. It's a baby. So now go dead. Hey! It's a funeral. It's a miracle you chance my sound. Now you're in the dumpy. Me day I stand up in the dance, I'll humble. Without a scroop on me face. 
All of a sudden, then a sound boy this me. Say that I him run the plane. So if you're proud like peacock, you're going to get this grace. Coming not afraid of the threat where you are make or the dub them where you have been a king. So now go dead in Siberia. Yeah. So now go dead in Siberia. The dream not dead in America. You chase my sound. Now you're in the dopey zone. So now go dead in Siberia. So now go dead in Siberia. If them not dead in America, you chase my sound. Now you're in the dopey zone. I'm not afraid of clashing. Can't be afraid of that. I'm not afraid of losing. So you can launch you a chance. I've killed so many sound boys that now I've just lost track. I swear I killed you last year. So why have you come back? Let me say, try your best, stop, draw your best shot. One in at the gym, make a comeback. Tell yourself you're tough, you are idiot. Cause we still going to knock you flat. Try your best, stop, throw your best shot. One in at the gym, make a comeback. Tell yourself you're tough, you are idiot. We still going to knock you flat. So now go dead, it's a very So now go dead, it's a funeral. If them no dead, so enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. In fact, you know what? So now go dead, it's a baby, So now go dead, it's a funeral. If them no dead, it's a. You chase my sound, now you're in the dopey zone. Bad man. Bad man, what's that? <laughs> Sick. It's all about fully equipped. Keep running, keep it running, rude boy. I want a ton of fly parts to come in. Keep it rolling. Oh my God, the time's running out on us. It's a funeral, if them not dead. It's a miracle, you chase my sound, now you're in. Turn up, fly, where they? Some sound just come at them. I feel like I think it's that I will lose the hand. But all you clear them. And a few of them do not wave thing off at them. Bitch, you know what you know we have them. Turn up! Fierce would have screw up by your fierce would have been. Them I try fright on the way, but we don't afraid of them. So boy, before you test me, why you better think? When we have heard that sound say we no leave fingerprint pan yard. I love that mix, rude boy. It's a bad boy mix. Wicked. Big respect to my brethren, Tana Fly. Big shout to Lion Dub in New York. Yeah, man. Big, big shout to Marcus Visionary in Toronto. Ian, ever fresh. Sick. Well, I think we've got to wind this down now. Okay. I think we might be able to squeeze in this one. I don't even know if my voice can do it anyway, but anyway. Last one from David Bummer. Jokes to these personal favorite. Alongside my brother Tana Fly again. Big tune. I'm crying for peace. 
Got too much love that run and it's been too damn long I want it to see Cause every 20 seconds mama lose a son How will she survive? Yeah, without no family structure plus that low income I know that it's greed That separates the classes, Mr. Babylon Politicians take a look in at your world Every day another tragedy occurs For my sweat up and it's getting on my nerves I think it's time you heard hey, hey. The youths are angry and the streets are turning red I wonder how much of them blood it I got shed Some mixed up messages I've got into the head All war brings casualties I'm crying for peace Got too much blood to run and it's been too damn long Me want it for see Cause every 20 seconds mama lose a son How will she survive? Yeah, without no family structure plus that low income I know that it's greed That separates the classes, Mr. Babylon Politician, them I live like king and queen Lower classes just I lose them self-esteem Use a gun but them no realize what it means It's getting quite extreme But if the violence end up on your street And middle class suburbia start feel the heat You'll be the first to come and make your speech about some anti-war decree I'm crying for peace Got too much blood to run and it's been too damn long Me want it for see Cause every 20 seconds mama lose a son I want you to survive Yeah, without no family structure plus that low income I know that it's greed That separates the classes Mr. Babylon Yes done How oh, fly Big, big, big. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thank you very much. Enough appreciations. Big up David Bummer for coming in. Old tight jokes. All right, I hope you enjoyed the show, Heavy Artillery Business. We do this every Thursday from 9 to 11 on fatbeats.co.uk. Make sure you lock into next week's interview where we will be interviewing MC Curse and MC Junglist. All right, but thank you very much, David, for coming down. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And big up all the people um, viewing. I hope you enjoyed the show as well. Let us know if we need to improve. Let us know if we're doing all right. Thank you very much. A lot to